Jay from Afterglow here and welcome to part two of my DIY power rack build. In this video I'm going to be sharing nine upgrades that I've done since building this rack about a couple of months ago and I'm going to share these nine things with you so that you can get a lot more out of training on this or just in your home gym, gym generally and do a wider variety of exercises so that ultimately you can hit your goals and get fitter. So let's get into it. The first upgrade is this black core plate that I've got wedged into the corner of the squat rack so that it doesn't move. But this is portable. Um, it's quite heavy though, because it's made of solid steel. And um, shout out to Second Strength who've custom made this for me. Uh, they, they actually galvanize the whole thing so it can be kept outside permanently and won't rust. So I really like this because it gives me a nice wide range of additional exercises I can do with the rack. Uh, one of my favorite ones is the, um, the rows here by hooking this under the bar and then really getting that isolation in the back muscles feels really nice. I also quite like this turning wheel on here so that when you put the bar inside, it doesn't move around. The other thing I like about this is it's super portable. So if I was working out uh, up here with a friend, um, then I can pick this up and maybe put this in another corner and then one of us can be using the core plate and someone else can be using the squat rack. Or most of the time, I'll just keep it and it will live here in the corner and um, it's ready to go whenever I want. So you can also use this up top to hit those shoulder muscles with the pushing motion and really throw this around. And you can see down there that this plate isn't moving anywhere. It's super stable. And I think something like this is a great addition for a power rack or just generally for any home gym or garage gym. So the second item are these additional incline brackets I've built onto the posts here. When I originally made this power rack, I only had these lower brackets for flat bench and the upper brackets for squats. Um, but I found when I tried to do the incline bench press, obviously these ones were too low and would kind of choke you off, so I couldn't do that. And these upper ones, I did try it, but they were so high up, I really had to reach overhead to rack the weights on and off. And also it was kind of straining my neck. Um, so I thought it was better to add these additional ones at the correct level for incline. And I'm really happy I added this because now um, I've got all three, I can just leave these here permanently. I don't have to move them around. And also when I do the incline, I can put on a lot more weight and feel comfortable that I'm not going to get stuck underneath here and I can just slide the weights back on easily with confidence and train um, a lot better. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that feature. I noticed that the two bars that stick out here are really useful when I'm doing deadlift um, to rest the bar on here. But the problem was this can roll off um, and also this end is a little bit sharp. So I wanted something to put on the end here to stop that from happening. Um, and I, I went back to the metal supplier I bought the poles from and got this uh, kind of corner angle joint, which has these um, adjustable uh, screws here so you can attach it. Um, so it's quite simple. You just put it on here like that and then tighten up the screw here like so, quite easy. And that's it it's on and then now you can see that the bar won't roll off here because it's being stopped and also you can't cut your leg on there and then this is really nice when you're like doing a deadlift or when you want to load your plates on at each side so the next feature was I noticed when I've been using the rack I like to keep the plates um, propped up against the post here either on there or there or like on that side 
but I was finding that the plates are rubbing off onto the post and also some of the uh, plates have got a little bit damaged so I decided to uh, install uh, some little metal plates and just put it on there like that so that when the plates leaning against it um, neither the plate nor the post will get damaged and it just looks a bit cleaner so I'm going to attach these now um, before I move on to the next one Right, and uh, that's it. Job done, that's pretty easy to attach, and I'm well happy with that. Um, these are never gonna get damaged again. Um, and also, these are super easy to remove because I only use some fairly lightweight screws, and they wouldn't really leave any mark if I took them off. So the next improvement is I wanted to protect these M12 bolts that hold the whole structure together. One, just for rust when it does rain out here um, to look after them. And two, I just don't want to scuff my ankles if I'm doing squats or moving around in here. So I bought these um, rubber caps from Amazon um, which fit the M12 bolts. I'm just going to put these onto each bolt like this. Um, and then I also think it looks quite nice. Uh, as well as protecting. So I'm just going to chuck all these on now and that's it. So the next improvements are broadly grouped as just accessories. Um, you can get a wide range of this kind of thing for home gyms and your power rack, but these are ones which I use uh, really often. They're not too expensive and I've found them to be really useful. So the first thing is a skipping rope. I've just got a basic speed rope. And more recently, I bought a heavier weight, um, heavy skipping rope. Uh, and I found this to be really, really good to use. It gets you much more out of breath than the lightweight speed rope. And also you can even feel it in the muscles a bit in your shoulders and arms. And I found I use this almost every single session. So I really like that. Second thing is the gymnastics rings. These are really, really good fun to use, give you a much wider range of exercises that you can do. And I've got uh, quite a kick out of trying to learn some new techniques like the muscle ups, the dips, and it just makes a nice change from doing the weights every single time. You can even take these to the park and hang them off a tree branch or something, which is also really good fun. So got a lot of good uh, value out of this. Uh, the third thing in, in the accessories is this uh, elastic stretch bands. Um, you can get all sorts of shapes and sizes. I particularly found I liked this Jordan branded one. Um, just has a nice give to it and feels good quality. Um, good for stretching, but also this larger size has helped me to start to learn the muscle ups, which I could never do before. Um, so yeah, I've had really good fun doing that. And again, just widening the range of exercises I can do to get a more balanced uh, overall fitness. Next thing is an abs wheel. Um, this is nice. I find it gets more the lower abs than regular sit-ups, so I quite like that one. And then moving on, I got a pair of these um, medium-sized fat grips, which I use for doing bicep curls, a couple of other exercises. They're quite good, but it is a bit of a faff putting them on and off, so I don't use them that often. Although when I do use it, I do notice you get much more of a burn in the forearm and it feels a bit different to just regular bicep curls. So I, I am happy with those. So last thing are these Captains of Crush hand grippers for improving your hand and forearm strength. Uh, this particular brand are really good quality. Um, so if you want some, I would uh, recommend these. However, I just find I don't use them that often because I enjoy all the other equipment a bit more. So that's it for the accessories, let's move on to the next thing. So the next item is some adjustable dumbbells. Uh, I've found these to be absolutely brilliant addition for the power rack, so I can do a much wider range of exercises beyond just the barbell. And I think they're perfect, even if you didn't have a power rack for any sort of home gym or garage gym environment. Obviously, because they have such a small form factor, um, you've not got to store lots and lots of pairs of dumbbells on some sort of racking system. Um, to use these, uh, you just twist the dials at the side, select the weight that you want, and then pull it out of the cradle, and off you go. And then obviously put it back and change it again for different weight options. 
Uh, these particular ones go from two to 21 kilograms, although there are others online where you can go up to a higher weight if you've got the budget. I've found these to be really good for those isolation exercises that you can't quite hit the muscle with the barbell, like say chest flies or reverse triceps, getting different emphasis on your bicep curls, things like that. Um, and I definitely recommend to get a pair of these if you don't have something like that already. So the next improvement is to have a nice range of barbells for all your different exercises with the rack. I started off just with um, an Olympic bar, and I'd say I use this more than anything else. So if you're budgeting, I'd spend the majority of your budget on the best quality Olympic bar that you can get. This is actually a Jordan um, Olympic competition bar, so it's very good, um, and I really like that. And then after the Olympic bar, I got um, um, an easy curl bar as well for your bicep curls and the tricep overheads, things like that. Although I find I don't use this quite so often, so I bought a more middle of the range gym gear easy bar, but it's quite sufficient and I like that one. And then the last two is mainly to use with the core plate. So I've got this um, narrow grip, which I hook under the bar to do those back exercises. Or I've also got this uh, multi-function um, uh, bar which again you can use this with the core plate for pulling but I also got this one because I'm planning to build an extension to this rack so I can do some lap pull downs so that was why I got two of these so that's it on the bars let's move on to the next thing and for the last item it's a good sound system this might seem a bit random but actually I've noticed uh, having these speakers out here and also particularly this sub speaker which puts out some really good bass um, I found this has made quite a difference to my workouts um, some days when you really don't feel like it you put the music on turn it up a bit and um, yeah, it really gets you in the mood and I found it's actually helped me train more often and even on those days when I haven't really had much energy it just lifts you up a bit and gets you through those reps when you're really not in the mood so not everyone can afford a setup like this so you might just want to get um, a really good quality pair of headphones but try and get some maybe the over clam ear ones where you get a bit more bass because um, yes yeah, particularly since I added the bass sub uh, I noticed it made quite a big difference. So I hope you enjoyed the video and this was useful if you're thinking of getting some accessories or upgrades for your power rack or home gym. Uh, check out some of the links in the description for all the items I've gone through and if you've got any questions just hit me up in the comments, I'm more than happy to help if you're not sure what to choose or what's going to suit you best. Otherwise, hit the like and subscribe button uh, for more updates. I've got some nice videos coming up. Now all the gyms are reopened in London. I'm going to be shooting some interesting content over the next few weeks. So keep it tuned to the channel. Thanks very much. I'm Jay from Afterglow and I'll see you soon.